Thanks for dropping in. If you've been 3D printing long, this is a familiar sight. The last coils from nearly spent filament rolls. I hate the idea of letting material go to waste, so I hoard these sad scraps in hopes that they can eventually be put to good use. In this video, I'm sharing a new design that's perfect for these overlooked leftovers. This is Nodes, a construction toy that can create large wireframe designs out of very little material. The toy consists of two main parts, node connectors, which come in a variety of shapes, and links, which span a range of lengths. A mere 30 centimeters of filament is all you need to print the largest node or the longest link. So a small coil like this is more than enough for a dozen parts. To build a wireframe, just take a link and press it into a node port until it clicks into place. This connection should be tight enough to hold, but loose enough to come free with a sharp pull. Nodes are really good at creating shapes based on platonic solids. Here's a tetrahedron, an octahedron, a cube, a dodecahedron, and an icosahedron. But if you mix and match the node shapes, you can construct even more creative wireframes. Like this football, or as we call it in the United States, a so truncated icosahedron. This shape is one of my favorite discoveries while playing around with the toy. I don't know if it has an official name, but each of its six sides is bistable. It can pop back and forth between two positions. If all the sides are pushed in, you get a sort of cupped cube. Or if you pull them out, you get a lumpy sphere. It also has some interesting shapes when only some of the sides are pushed in. Transforming the object back and forth makes for a fun fidget. Nodes can also create squishy buttons, long branching tubes, or just really big stuff. You probably noticed that many of these examples are quite flexible. For maximum durability, I printed most of my links in TPU. This does make them a little more difficult to connect, but the end results are worth it. If you want something stiffer, PETG also works well, especially for the longer length links. Save your PLA for the node connections, unless you plan on building something that won't undergo much stress. If you have some spare filament scraps in printer time, this design will be available for free on printables and things. I look forward to seeing what cool stuff people make from it. But until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Hey, thanks for sticking around till the end. I recently released a giant version of my simple twist open mushroom. And just for fun, I decided to print a few copies in glow-in-the-dark filament. Of course, this pretty much used up my glow-in-the-dark supply, so for the few scraps I had left, I made some more node connectors. I think these look really great in glow-in-the-dark. I might just need to buy some more glow-in-the-dark filament just to make more of these. I know that kind of defeats the purpose, but hey, who can argue with these results? See you next time! <laughs>